Lewis, but I'm Emeril Lagasse, and welcome to Emeril Live. Yeah. Stand back. <laughs> Today we're going to do some uh, kicked up. I love mushrooms. Love all kinds of mushrooms. A fungi thing, really. How you doing? Great. Where are you from? Hey, yeah. you know, this must, This is like the seat today. The last show, it was Japan. Now it's Mexico. Yeah. I'm liking this. What's next? Where are you from? Cuba. Cuba. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey, where are you? Why aren't you here with us live? You're at home like eating a bag of Fritos or something. What's the matter with you? We're going to like, we got all the food in this studio. Down the hall, they got all the lunatics. <laughs> Let's go into mushroom land. How you guys doing? Hey, you guys doing all right? Hey, yeah. Where are you guys from? New Jersey, New York. I'm liking that. <laughs> Look at this, huh? Wish we could find a truffle. We'd have a big fungi. Wild and exotic mushrooms. That's what we're going to do. And what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to make a little wild and exotic mushroom bread pudding to start with. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's like kind of New Orleans. I mean, I thought it would be like really great to do. This is actually a dish that we uh, we have on the menu. It's a dish that we do with a study of duck. How you doing? All right. We got, uh, we got ducks, we got mushrooms, we got everything going on here. But um, really, really a delicious and simple savory, unlike sweetened bread pudding, savory, not sweet. Um, what we're going to do is we cleaned a bunch of mushrooms. Now, I want to tell you how you do that. I got a little, see, it's, this is an official. Come here. Come here. It's the official mushroom brush by Remco. Or whatever it is, something like that. But, you know, if you don't like that, you can, like, do your fingers or whatever, you know. But, um, do you use one of these? <laughs> uh, only for truffles, right? Kind of a long, yeah, ah, yeah, big cavity there. Uh, cremini mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms. You see, you have wild mushrooms. They, they go, woo, they're wild. You know, they kind of like pass through the live show. And then you have exotic mushrooms. <laughs> Hi there. Which are cultivated mushrooms. Which are most of these mushrooms right, right here. These are pretty much all cultivated mushrooms. But, you know, you have like chanterelles like we have in Louisiana when it rains. You know, and our good friend Roland who goes through City Park and harvests these for us and brings them to the restaurant. Now, that was a wild mushrooms. We're going to start by, i got to have butter, you know. I didn't have my consumption yet today. So we're going to have a little, um, a little butter. Nothing like a little butter. And um, the first thing that I want to do with this butter is I want to start to caramelize some onions with a little bit of salt because it's going to taste good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some fresh ground pepper. It's the floor director. She loves me. You know what I mean? She's like holding up. Move it. This, that. I mean, come on. Rhoda, you know I love you, baby. <laughs> Say hi to Rhoda, everybody. <laughs> I know. I'm going to get you now. <laughs> Steal your mushrooms. So I want to caramelize these onions. A very, very important thing. Also, we clean these exotic mushrooms. You know, there's some mushrooms at the stem you just can't do anything with. Shiitake mushrooms is an example. Well, I wouldn't say nothing with. Good thing to do is you save, save the stems, and they make, you can make a great broth. You can make a great stock uh, with them. While I'm caramelizing these onions, talking to you more about wild and exotic mushrooms, those of you at home, now it's time to go to you know where, because when we come back, 